hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I am here today. We're going to share a card with the Say It With Stamps Hello Fall stamp set. So cute. It's a large six by eight stamp set. Um, and I've created a card with this before. And I'll link that video at the end if you want to check it out. But I love little critters for fall. Um, your stamp set won't come with the images that I colored in here. Sometimes I do this. Um, and then I play around with my scenes, but I didn't create a, a card with the, the little squirrel yet. I created one with the little mouse. And again, that will be at the end of this video if you want to check it out. But I want to pair this Say It With Stamps Hello Fall set with the Say It With Stamps Fall Leaves stencil set. I love stencil sets. This is just two pieces and it creates a great background for my card. So let's jump in and start by doing some stamping. I have my stamping positioner here and I like to tack down my paper in my stamping positioner. This way um, I don't have to use a magnet. Sometimes the magnets for me just get bulky. So I just lightly tack it on the inside of my stamping positioner. Now um, the paper that I'm, gonna, I'm using today is fabulous. This is the Color Me Premium cardstock. There's 20 sheets in here, but th this will make good card bases too if you want to create a card base. It'll be a little bit shorter than an A2, but they're five, a little over five inches um, wide by 12 inches long. And they're really smooth, great for, for alcohol marker coloring. So I'm using a piece of this that I just trimmed down and we are gonna stamp just two images today. I'm going to stamp the little squirrel I think is adorable and then I'm also going to stamp I want him holding something I think we'll stamp a leaf and color that in too so three images the squirrel the tree trunk and the leaf I'm going to use some alcohol marker friendly ink and we'll ink up our images and stamp them and then we're going to do a little bit of coloring I love fall. I love how cool. Sometimes it takes a little while to get the cool weather, but I do love the changing of the leaves. I think it's beautiful. Now I'm going to zoom in. Oh, before I zoom in too much, these are the colors that I want to be using for my project today. I'm going to zoom in so, so you can see the colors of markers. Some nice fall colors. And then I'm going to play a little bit of music while I color, and when I'm done coloring, I'll catch back.
is all done. Now, my little tray, I put my lids on here because it, they were staining my mat. So I just used a little tray for that if you're wondering what that tray was. So my images are done. Now we can take the coordinating dies and cut out our images. And then we're going to do a little bit of stenciling. So there's my images and they are just so cute. We're going to put these to the side and we're going to grab some, some more of our uh, Color Me Premium cardstock. This ink blends really well also. I'm going to trim this down so it's a little more manageable. And then we're going to take our Say It With Stamps Fall Leaf Stencil Set. We're going to start with the leaf part. And I'm going to put some Pixie Spray behind here. Pixie Spray is a low-tack adhesive, and this way I don't have to use any tape on my stencils. I went ahead and sprayed some Pixie Spray behind it. Now my stencil, the stencils that we're using are indexed on top. It, this one says Autumn Leaves Stencil A. And so we'll place this in the top corner of our cardstock. And then we need some inks to color in our images. I'm going to use the same colors that I used here. So some reds and oranges and maybe some browns. I brought in my craft mat and the colors that we're going to be using are a red, a well yellow, red, and brown. Kind of went out of order there. And we'll start with our yellow first because the other colors can blend in with our brown. And with our yellow, I chose yellow even though there's no yellow in here because it blends really well with the, the brown ink and the red ink. And we are going to mix up our coloring by just adding little splotches of yellow, like so. I love messy ink blending. <laughs> Next we'll take our red ink. This is a nice rich red for fall. And we're going to add some red. And I'm overlapping on the yellow. You can see it creates a real pretty orange. And when I don't overlap on the on the, the yellow, it creates that red, which is really pretty. You know what? Rather than using my brown ink for my leaves, I'm going to save my brown ink for layer number two. And I'm going to bring in an orange. I think that looks wonderful. Already looks like fall. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put my lids back on my inks and then we're going to go in with our brown ink with the veins of our leaves. Stencil B. Now I cleaned off my stencil while it was on my paper. I just like to do that. We're going to remove our layer A. I think that looks so pretty. And then we're going to bring in our layer B and it's indexed up here. And since we put it in the corner, it's going to line up on its own. You just have to make sure this top is lined up and then the rest will follow. Okay, once this is down, and I put pixie spray behind this also, we are going to bring in our brown ink. And we'll go over our veins. Now I went over with a light brown ink and I want a variant in color for this stencil too. So I'm going to bring in a darker brown ink. And I'm going to add a little bit of dark brown also. But I'm just going to do the dark brown in spots. Kind of hit and missing. And I think that's going to work. I'm just going to take a lightly damp towel and wipe off my stencil and then we can do a reveal. Okay, are you ready for the reveal for our background? Ugh, just stunning. Just love how neat this looks. Looks like real leaves, really. <laughs> I'm going to use my paper trimmer and we're going to trim down this to a card front panel. Actually, we're going to trim it down to four inches by five and a quarter. So I'm going to have a little bit, you can actually save these for another project that's really pretty stripped. Now that my background panel is trimmed away, we are going to bring in a Say It With Stamps die set called Bracket Speech Bubble. 
and I love the speech bubble in here and so we're going to use this. I'm going to take the speech bubble and die cut out this with brown cardstock. I die cut out my speech bubble. I love the size of this. This is great for a mini slimline but it's also great for A2 so you, it'll fit on an A2 just barely but I'm going to trim off the top here. So I also have the same color panel of the brown cardstock. We're going to adhere this to our card front. So we have a insides white, outsides brown. That's perfect. Now since this is slightly smaller, we're going to have a little bit of a border. We're going to mat this on our card base. So let's take our tape runner and adhere this. Just making sure it's evenly spaced. Wonderful. Now for our speech bubble, I'm going to trim off a little bit off the top maybe about three quarters of an inch. And because fall cards, I love to add some twine. I have some brown twine and I'm going to wrap it around the top of my speech bubble and we're going to tie, I'm going to wrap it around twice and tie a bow off to the right. And then we're going to pop this up and put it on our card base with some foam adhesive. Now we get the fun part and we get to add our elements. We're going to add our little tree trunk. We'll put this in the center and then we'll add our squirrel. I'm going to put my squirrel off to, actually let's lower this a little bit. Good deal. We'll put our squirrel a little bit off to the right. And then I'll take the our leaf. I want the squirrel to be holding our leaf, so we're going to kind of do a little tucking with it. We need a sentiment, so let's stamp Autumn Greetings. And I'm just going to use the cardstock that I used to color in my images. I'm going to use a dark black ink. Stamp it on the bottom. And I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to fussy cut around my sentiment, leaving a little bit of a border. We're going to create a shadow around it. I went ahead and created a little border around my sentiment and then we can adhere this to our card. I'm going to put it right in the middle of our tree trunk. I think that's a great spot for it. I'm going to finish off my card with a few of my sequins. These are like a golden coppery color and I think it's going to pick up the yellow that's in my my leaves. And then and then after we have this done, I am going to add a little sparkle to my leaf with my sparkle pen. So we have a little sparkle on our leaf and then I'm going to use my glossy accent and just go over our squirrel's eyes. This is going to give him a little shine, the eyes, and then it's going to give him a little dimension too. Maybe go over the nose too. And then that will finish my project today. I hope you enjoyed my project. This is the Say It With Stamps Hello Fall stamp set. It's such a cute stamp set. But thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.